Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a Grounded Guide today. Make sure you're liking, make sure you're subscribed, go and give me a follow and go ahead and check out my YouTube memberships if you want to get more exclusive perks and access. Today I'm going to show you guys how to basically unlock zip lines. You may find lots of them in the hedge area but you can make your own. To do so you're going to need to learn the zip line anchor blueprint. A really big important thing to note is you should try and pick up the sleuth or the chip sleuth mission that you can get from Burgle, which basically asks you to go and look for a jungle area or a jungle temple. This will give you 6,000 science points if you pick up this mission and then you go and find the chip needed to learn the anchor points. So once you've done this, you need to head over to the hedge and it's all been revamped. There's lots of brand new smaller little laboratories to go and explore. These will have some bonus things like science points and obviously scabs, but otherwise you need to head to the main big area that has been in the game a while, but now it's been redone over. By now, if you're an OG player of Grounded, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about with the laboratories and the door that you cannot get inside. Well, don't worry, by the time you've found the chip, you'll unlock that door permanently so you'll be able to go in and out. But for now, we're going to have to shimmy our way up and do a bit of parkour to actually get inside. So you go up to this branch, try and sneak underneath and then climb back on top and you should see a alleyway here that opens up but it's there we've got to get to as it contains the first of two or three passwords you need to pick these up to open a locked door further higher up in the laboratories be warned to get to this point you may still need to bring with you some silk rope or just at least make sure you've got a decent armor set and weapons as there is lots of spiderlings and don't fall through any of the holes pick up the password number 19 and that's going to help you out in a few moments Next up, we're in the main area of the laboratory, which you should be able to access. Be careful for the Taze Tees. You can see it's opening up. You can see all the other pods. You've been here before. There was a switch. We'll have moved it now, but there is another password piece, number 58. Keep going, exploring all the areas, go up the branches, go to the observation tower if you've not been there already. You'll notice that you can no longer gain access to the bird bath from this area anymore. It's all been blocked off. The only way you can get to the bird bath area now is much earlier on in the hedge. But you need to get to this point where you can get inside. It's the only way in. You should see a big password on the screen behind. And obviously this is where you're going to put the password for the two pieces you found. But this isn't the end of the passwords. There's still one more door that you need to gain access to. This one has only just opened up a lot of the doors so you can go in and around all the laboratories without having to do loads of parkour around the branches. It's this door that is still locked and we need to find the password pieces to this entrance way. If you get on top of the laboratories and go closer to the tree where you normally used to be able to parkour in, you'll find a little hole. You can jump down here and get the third piece of the password. You can see it sitting there. There is loads of spiderlings in here, so be very careful. You may just want to grab the password and try and run out before they kill you. Or if you've got loads of armor and weapons, you might be okay. Unlike me, because I'm such a noob. While you're exploring, you often come across some of these doors that are blocked from one side. You just need to get to the other side and whack away at them and it should open them up permanently. I got back into this room just to get some more resources and now we're going to move on to the final piece. Just off the main area where you've come before where you used to flip the switch and there's an analyzer still in the room, you'll find this zip line. You can pretty much go across and you're going to come across a Orb Weaver Junior, a new variation of spider, which is pretty deadly. You can see the password. That's what we really need to get hold of. So make sure you do. And you can try taking him out if you want. But again, I wasn't really fully prepared. I didn't have enough armor or weapons. But if you do die, then don't worry, since you've opened up the door with the first password, you should be able to go up much easier and quicker to get up to here now. Go back to the room with the computer inside. Now you've got this third and fourth pieces of the password and you should be able to open up that door. Obviously, there might be a lot more loot and I have got a detailed hedge guide 2.0 that I'm going to be doing. So if you are still a bit unsure about some of these areas, I will show every single inch of it how to get through all the hedge all the new stuff that's there and anything else you need to know but for now we're just going to focus on unlocking the new anchor points most of the zip lines here will have silk in them already but it's definitely worth bringing a few extra with you just in case and like i said you will need the new spinner to make that silk rope before accessing this areas so here we are we're at the computer again for the second time it's now unlocked the second door and inside we've got a switch. You might as well pull it and then obviously get the brand new chip once I've defeated this spiderling. It looks like for now the actual big switch doesn't do anything. It doesn't open up or try any new labs, but I think in the future it will do. And here's the chip that you need to return to Burgle to get access to the new anchor points. 
Once you're back at Burgle, you'll then be able to purchase them with science. Now, this is why it's important to pick up the mission first, because the mission gives you 6,000 points for finding that chip. And when it comes to actually buying them, the new zipline anchors are going to cost you 10,000 science points. So yeah, you definitely want to make sure you've got enough before you go and do this. There's other things you can buy as well, like the Daredevil perk, which reduces full damage. And there's some brand new signs as well. I've already done a guide on the signs, so I've shown you guys how to unlock all of that. But there's the zip lines. That's the anchors we need. To use them, you're going to need four clay, three pieces of silk rope, and six stems. So it's not necessarily a quick and easy thing to craft and make. They will stretch out across the whole of the backyard though, as long as you've got another one across the way. And they do work with the man-made ones that are already there in the hedge as well. You can see 38, 36 and 63 silk rope to get across various different distances. So you are going to need a lot of this if you want to make big ones that go across the whole of the way. But that is how you unlock all the zipline anchors. I hope this has been beneficial. If it has, make sure you like the video. Go and check out all my other grounded guides. And for always the first and best grounded news, survival games and next gen news, make sure you've got me locked down on Notification Squad. I'll see you rat bags in the future for another guide. Laters.